Hey guys, I'm Shantanu Udasi back again with another video for Analytics India magazine capturing everything that has been happening in the world of artificial intelligence. I have gathered a few stories and let's just not waste any more time and jump right into our stories. Our first story is CEO Jensen Huang has done this interview with Time magazine where he talks about various things like video game processors, chip shortage, computer processors and artificial intelligence. So we are going to focus on artificial intelligence in our video and this is what he said about artificial intelligence. So he said that he is excited about this AI boom and this AI boom will result in an AI software that will write itself so it will not require any data labeling or data training the software is going to write itself down and it can create a new AI software or algorithm that can make our life much easier he said that how smartphones revolutionize the phone industry this self writing AI algorithm is going to revolutionize manufacturing logistics customer care transportation and all these industries are going to be way different 10 years down the line than they are today he has also given a reason that this self writing artificial intelligence is better in many ways because it can write software of that quality that humans cannot write and cannot even think about or figure out how these industries can be revolutionized finally he also said that the whole goal of writing a software is to automate something and we are in this new world where over the next 10 years we are going to see automation of automations means that artificial intelligence writing artificial intelligence algorithms itself moving on to our next story our next story is about debt collection in rural india and how it requires artificial intelligence more than it requires muscular guys to go and collect the debt so this article highlights spotco a 5 year old startup started by sumit shrivastava which is working towards introducing artificial intelligence in debt collection of rural india even though all the technology and smartphone and cheap data it is still difficult to collect debt from farmers because there is lack of education there are barriers of language and their intrinsic use of cash to pay off debts and that's where the problem starts when banks or nbfcs send third parties to collect their debt according to sumit shrivastava he says that the bank is doing nothing but losing a customer when it outsources its debt collection to a third party company he has suggested that you can do collections without the collectors using his startup that uses machine learning to understand if a loan is a bad loan and how much time we can give to a particular person to return his debt even if he misses certain deadlines so spotco in india is working on 1.2 trillion loan portfolios across some of india's largest banks and non bank financiers and its recovery rate in cases where borrowers have missed one installment has been 85% so the cost saving of using this algorithm over third party debt collectors is saving them 30 to 40% so the value of spotco comes when it analyzes behavioral cues from customer when it nudges them to pay debts on time and this algorithm can analyze which customer is likely to continue paying his installments after missing just one or two installment and who is not therefore the financiers can send a less number of problems towards the debt collecting agencies or loan collectors and indeed this will help the good customers not being intimidated by the strong arm tactics of these debt collecting agencies so debt collection via algorithms is very much prevalent in the us and that's what sumit shrivastava dreams to bring to india which is not very much prevalent in india so that's what this article is saying that the future of debt collection will depend on artificial intelligence and less on muscle moving on to our next story our next story is about russia's new batch of fighters including mig 35 jets could be enabled with artificial intelligence that is suggested by report so russia is doubling down artificial intelligence in their air force by implementing artificial intelligence not just in the final product but in the every step of this process therefore they are going to introduce artificial intelligence in manufacturing operations and repairment thus making it possible to carry out long term planning of product quality and they have suggested that their artificial intelligence algorithm which works on using historical data has an accuracy up to 90% so it's not only russia as nasa and their aeronautics engineers are also trying to implement artificial intelligence in all steps for producing their aircrafts 
It is also being said that this will not only help military vehicles, but it will also help civilian aircrafts as well. As a result, we can ensure the safety of these civilian aircrafts and reduce the damage. Indian government's Niti Aayog has also suggested the huge amount of artificial intelligence integration will be done in the Air Force sector. At present, US is leading the way in the usage of artificial intelligence in military domain with its advanced technology and lethality automated system and unnamed aircraft systems. But China is not far behind with Zian's Blowfish A2 killer drone which can autonomously perform many complex combat missions. This new addition to the Russian military is only going to increase the competition among countries to implement artificial intelligence in their combat systems. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about an AI powered Albert Einstein. An AI powered version of Albert Einstein has joined Unique's growing lineup of digital humans. So Unique is doing this interesting thing by gathering everything they know about a famous personality and creating a jet bot of that famous personality that you can interact with in real time. So among many great personalities, they have added Albert Einstein on the 100th anniversary of his Nobel Prize in Physics. So this innovative artificial intelligence experience was created by pooling resources from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem and Greenlight. They contributed remarkably by providing Einstein's likeliness that included his voice, image and mannerisms. So you can now engage with Einstein in various topics and can discuss about his research, life and experiences. Moving on to the last story of our day. Our last story is about Elon Musk and his crazy project of Neuralink which is supposedly to help people but it has various flip sides too. So recently Neuralink demonstrated an experiment on a monkey and he was connected with a computer where he successfully played a video game through his brain signals only. The monkey successfully played the game and passed this experiment with flying colors. This is the video, you can search it on YouTube and look at it for yourself but we are going to analyze what it means for humanity at large and what's the future of this technology. So the first and foremost goal of Neuralink is to help patients with neurological damages to calm their nervous system and heal them of certain diseases. They are also working on helping people control their prosthetic limbs through the Neuralink chip. They have also claimed that apart from neurological disorders like epilepsy or cerebral palsy, they also help with depression, addiction, blindness, deafness and a range of other disorders. But as we all know, this is not going to just stop at helping the needy but it will be integrated in our life as well. So brain machine interfaces can revolutionize how we interact with our machines. Currently we access them by touch or by our speech but with this interface we can access anything with just a thought. The possibilities are endless. We can type anything with just a thought. We can combine a cloud based artificial intelligence with our own intelligence and create a much larger intelligence. We can link two chips and then can communicate without even saying anything just through our brain waves. But as all technology, this technology could be hacked and it could lead to adverse effects. So there is a question that if this technology can be hacked, result into disastrous effects for the person using that. Elon Musk himself has advocated the fact that artificial intelligence could lead to the extinction of humanity and he said that Neuralink was set up just to create humans that are so intelligent that they can beat artificial intelligence itself and if you cannot beat artificial intelligence just join them. But most experts have interpreted his claims to be a warning sign for governments to look into artificial intelligence and create more robust policies around artificial intelligence itself. According to Elon Musk, the human trials of Neuralink will start later this year but he has not clarified what these trials would look like and we can only hope that these trials can be used to give a life form to people who have serious neurological disorders that can be cured using Neuralink. So that's about it. Those were all the stories that I have for you today. Please read all these stories in their entirety. Links for them will be in the description down below. And while you are at it, click on the thumbs up. It really helps us a lot. And click on that subscribe button because we produce content on every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday at 4pm 
Also ring that notification bell so that you never miss any other update from Analytics India magazine.